just for a minute on the back 40. Um, I want to show you fig tree. Boy, bees love figs just as much as we do. Notice. You can hear them humming everywhere. See them eating on them figs. I don't know where this honey's going to be, but it's going to taste some kind of good. But it's robbing me of my figs. Them girls are getting after it, so they are, they are all up in here. Getting them. Let me see here if I can try to focus on on this one right here. I don't remember. Let's see how to get to her. Ah, I'm not doing good. They eating on that thing. Getting all the good out of it. And when they get done, it'll look like that. I mean, I say get done. I mean, they are between the bees and the wasp. I mean, they're, they're enjoying my figs. I'm like, but girls, I want, I want a couple. <clears throat> you got to reach in there and look. They've done been to the party. Uh, they done ate the, ate the centers out. And some of them you gotta be careful, boy, it's sour. They're, they're souring. Cause they've done been all up in there. I'm telling you, if you could hear the humming, I mean, you can, if you could hear him. Look at that little butterfly. She's enjoying her. Some. Uh oh, I scared her. I'm sorry, Miss Butterfly. Or Mr. Butterfly, or whatever you are. And, uh. Yeah. Bees are. are getting after it. Yeah. Give you a picture of my fig tree. This is like got another one over there. My fig tree it started a few years ago, come from a friend of mine from East Carroll Parish gave me this fig tree. He's passed away now, Mr. Babcock. He he lived to be close. He was 95, 96 years old. The Lord took him home, and uh, bees everywhere. And then, like I said, and I got that little tree there. That's part of some he gave me. It's a little drier on top of that hill. That one don't do quite as good. And then we got this tree. I don't know what happened to my peach tree. Leaves just fell off of it like mad. I mean, leaves got roasted. I don't know what it was. And, uh, see that? I don't know what that is. All the leaves just did that and fell to the ground. Fell, fell to the ground. And my peaches... Peaches are still hard. They're not ready yet. These are some Georgia, some Georgia white flesh peaches. It's my little maple, red maple tree. Red maple tree. This little fig tree got it. I think the Walmart. It was dried up. It was just a little feller. And uh, we started planting it and poured the water, poured what it's been couple years ago but it's slowly making it we got to get this oak tree out of here and uh 
but it's got a few figs on it. And they usually sweet. Amber must have done picked them. She done got in here. She, let me show you what she did here. Well, brought it in. Got this dehydrator. Dehydrator. Right there. Took them figs, put them in there, and dehydrated them. And they are good. That's what they look like. We don't have many though, because the bees ain't sharing with us. But these are so good. Maybe y'all want to try that out. Let me know what you think and if y'all have done anything to try that. And, um, man, talk about good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um... Keep them for uh, <clears throat> did some apples. Man, they are delicious. And then did some. What is this right here, Mom? It's, oh, these peaches. Peaches. Man, it's good. Delicious. Delicious. They're sissy. Sissy's an old girl. She's how old, Mama? Almost 15. Almost 15 years old. That's Sissy. That's a good girl, Sissy. She's thinking I got some food for her. It's Sissy. She's thinking I got some food for her. She sits in here for a little while with Mama, and then she goes outside. There's an the outside girl. I want to stay outside. Of course, we want her to stay outside, too. See him rascal right there. Oh, uh oh. Buggy seen me. Bad girls. Alright. Well. I guess uh this is what's going on in my my little world. About to come out here and change the oil on this truck. That's what I gotta do right now. Uh, I've been studying most of the morning and doing a few things and anyway I know uh, you don't need to look at my ugly mug but I don't know what to do about the bees I don't mind sharing they they need stuff too somebody's gonna get some good honey though man I tell you back where we started or oh, they're just a working they're all all up in here all up in here and wasps are in here too and wasps up in here too what are they getting there getting their share can't hardly get here and get in to them mama won't come in here and pick them Ethan sure enough ain't coming around here but anyway they're working on them boy they sweet they know the good ones too they know where the sugar is for sure. Well, hey. Hey, I'll leave y'all alone. Y'all have a blessed day. Today's Saturday, March, Sunday. Hope you get yourself in church. You say, do I need to go to church to be a Christian? Yep, you sure do. You don't need to go to church to be saved, but you got to go to church to be a Christian because Jesus went to church. He went to church every time the door was open. I can prove you that from the scripture. So if you're going to be Christ-like, that's what a Christian is, Christ-like. You got to go to church. So I pray you get yourself preheated, get yourself prayed up, get in the Bible, go invite somebody to church, make a phone call. Hey, say, we'd love, to come, love for you to come to church be with us tomorrow. Tell them about Jesus. Go brag on the Lord to them, and I'll talk to you later. Y'all have a blessing.